show Angel from Hell. Please welcome Maggie Lawson with Peanut, Lakey, and Porkchop. On my new show, I play a character named Allison who meets a woman claiming to be her guardian angel. But I know that our real guardian angels are our dogs. They love us, they watch us, they protect us from danger, and they keep our kitchen floor spotless. The next nominee for Dog of the Year is no exception. Her watchful eye and patient love proved she really is a dog's best friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Tilly. Two and a half years ago, I was picking up Tilly. She had been over at the doggy daycare, and Sarah, the owner, had explained to me a special relationship that Tilly had formed with Phoebe the Basset Hound. It was just like love at first sight. She asked me if I would consider adopting Phoebe. And when I saw the relationship between the two of them and how much they really cared for each other and how much Tilly is just uh, excited to be around Phoebe, I, I really couldn't say no. On Labor Day, I had hosted a company party and had opened up part of the fence. And the next day, I had not closed that fence back up. My sister let the dogs out, and they had found that opening. We got a phone call from BJ to let us know that uh, both Tilly and Phoebe had been missing. And so we pretty quickly started um, working with our volunteers to actively search for the dogs. As each day went by, I became more and more concerned because there was absolutely no reports of any sightings. So that was really distressing. We had been searching for about a week, and I got a phone call from Joe. I noticed our reddish-brown dog over right here by the vineyard, just outside the fence. Next day, she shows up again and runs into the woods, and Tilly came back a third time. She ran down past the greenhouse here and down into the ravine. I'm walking through the base of this ravine, and I saw that Tilly was standing at the base of what I knew was a cistern. Tilly had been visiting me, trying to get me to follow her because her companion Phoebe was stuck in the cistern. I got to the property and I dashed over into the woods where Amy was at with the dogs. Tilly was still standing vigil right by the cistern. She hadn't eaten in a week. I had food with me. No, nope, she wasn't really Phoebe's side. I hopped in and lifted Phoebe out. And of course there was a big kiss fest that went on. It's a pretty emotional experience for everybody there. As soon as I got back, I thought we better just put this up on our Pet Protectors um, Facebook page. A uh, local blog picked up the story. It went worldwide. The governor of Washington State invited Tilly and Phoebe down to the Capitol and awarded Tilly the Washingtonian of the day. Congratulations, <laughs> Tilly. What a remarkable story. Tilly, what a remarkable dog. Because I had gone six days worrying and being very concerned about them and thinking about what my life was going to be without them, this experience has made me really think about how that level of caring and compassion is something that is important for us as human beings to really take care of one another, just like these two dogs did. It was love and family and Tilly doing what was right for her friend. Chili!